This is Rad News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Today, we'll chat about Tesla making it even easier for customers to charge their cars, the VWID buzz getting a new purpose, and Texans saying howdy to Hyperloop. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now here's the latest in all things mobility. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. When it comes to charging out in the wild, Tesla owners have it so easy. Since the launch of its charging network in 2012, Tesla has amassed an empire of nearly 40,000 chargers across North America, most of which are free to use. And now, Tesla drivers get even more charging options through a new partnership. EVGO announced it'll start rolling out those funky little Tesla chargers at its stations as well. And oh boy, this sounds like a parking lot brawl waiting to happen. Think of it like adding a pump with both diesel and gas. These charging stations will have multiple hookups and charging methods so nobody misses out. Let's just hope those Teslas don't start hogging all the chargers from all the other EV drivers or we're gonna fight. I am hopped up on Twizzlers and ready to get rowdy. Don't test me, Tesla. Remember the Volkswagen ID Buzz? It's that cool electric concept van designed to pluck at the heartstrings of those who love the old school VW buses. Well, it's moving from conceptually cool to actual tool. Volkswagen and the nation of Qatar have worked out a deal to bring a fleet of ID Buzz shuttles to the city of Doha. And these don't just look cool in an old meets new sort of way. Volkswagen is setting up these vans to be both fully electric and self-driving. By the end of 2022, there will be 35 ID Buzz people movers shuttling folks all around Qatar's capital city. Testing begins next year, so Volkswagen better get their buzz in gear on this one. I am sure you have heard the term Hyperloop. It's a form of super high-speed rail that basically shoots passenger cars like bullets through a sealed tunnel at 700 miles per hour. It doesn't actually exist, it's just an idea for now. But Hyperloop is on the horizon, and citizens of one of the most progressive states in the nation have expressed interest. I am talking about, you guessed it, Texas. The international infrastructure firm, AECOM, put together a study that asked folks in the Lone Star State what they would choose as the best way to travel the 420 plus miles from Laredo to Fort Worth. Their clear preference was to travel by Hyperloop. Makes sense, the old west was ripe with trains, so it's only fitting that the new west has something to match. We live in a digital age, so why not have digital trains? Because that's not a thing, and also that's not what Hyperloop is. Exactly, but Hyperloop is sort of the closest thing we've got. Besides, when you realize Laredo to Fort Worth is a six and a half hour drive, you might be more willing to jump inside of a vacuum rocket, especially when it gets you there in 48 minutes. Yeah, believe it, Hyperloop would be faster than taking a plane. Sign me up. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech and follow us at Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Good girl. Doggita, aren't you so excited to be on set, Sky? Shake it off. Oh, I should have continued that through. Let's just go back to that little out of that little blurbity blurb. Blurbity blurb. Okay. I wish I had a Twizzler. Could have like bitten into it. I'm sure you have heard the term Hyperloop. It's a form of super high speed rail that basically shoots passenger, passenger cars. I am sure you have heard. Besides, when you realize Laredo to Fort Worth is a six and a half hour drive, you might be more willing to jump inside of a vacuum rocket. Squeeps. Damn it, you probably have to go back to before you speak, yep. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.